Hey friends, on today's video, we are going to be installing this pair of LED floodlights for the garage. These are very cheap on Amazon. In fact, I got the pair of these for $30. Let's walk through the process right now. So I actually got interested in these floodlights, LED floodlights, that you can find on Amazon after seeing a little ad on, I believe it was Instagram. And these are kind of cool. They replace your normal garage lights, but they actually include these panels, these LED panels that are fully adjustable, as you can see, and offer a bunch more brightness than a single bulb option. Right now I've got a little halogen bulb that's currently sitting in my sockets in the garage. And I wanna test this out to see if we can get a lot more light in there. All right, we're currently in the adventure corner of the garage. And as you can see, I've got a bulb up here right above my surfboards. So what we're gonna do is actually put that LED bulb in. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. And then let's turn it on and see if we can get a bit more light. All right, installing these things is an absolute cinch. All we need to do is take off this little protective cover that it comes with. And then in order for this to fit in the socket, we are gonna to have to move these panels into the down position. Now, obviously we wanna do that anyway so we can throw light down into the garage instead of up onto the ceiling. So now that we have that uh, configured to where we can actually get it into the socket, let's go ahead and get on a ladder and replace the bulb. Okay, you can see the old bulb that I was using. Again, make sure your light is off when you are doing this. I'm gonna unscrew the bulb just like this. Again, make sure you do not put fingers or anything up in that socket. Again, this is not live right now, but again, you wanna be really, really safe. So there's our old bulb. I'm gonna go ahead and dispose of that. Okay, here is our LED flood. I'm obviously just gonna put it right back into that socket where the other one was. And you can literally do this with one hand. It's pretty nice. And just twist it back into place until it is snug. And at this point, it's ready to go. We can flip on the switch. Again, you do want to position these floods, these three different floods, in the areas that you want them to shine the brightest onto. But that's what's really nice about these adjustable arms. You can just adjust them on the fly. I'm going to go ahead and keep them just like that so we can get a good indication of how bright this is going to be. Okay, there you go. There are our LED floodlights shining down into the garage. I can already tell this is much brighter than the previous bulb I was using, and it's throwing a lot more light out into the main work area. So I'm gonna use these for a little while, really kind of give them the once over, make sure that I do think they are worth it. Again, I'm already liking what I'm seeing, but these were two, two of them for about 30 bucks on Amazon. If that sounds like a good deal, I'll put a link in the description box below for you guys so you can check them out for yourselves. And uh, yeah, you can help support the channel without any additional costs to you guys if you use that link. I hope this has helped. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button? It lets me know that I'm making helpful videos. And stay tuned because we got a bunch more DIY projects that are coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching.